Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Leopardstown Racecourse here on Wednesday, just December the 27th, 2017. We're going to look at the stakes races on today's program from Leopardstown races 3 and 4, the 115 and the 150. But before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5 for more selections for racecourses around the world. So let's get on to it. The third race and the fourth race, the third race, the 115 from Leopardstown. It is the Paddy's Rewards Club Chase Grade 1 race here, going for a purse of $105,000. That's in the American currency, so don't get confused. It's a steeplechase for 5-year-olds and upwards. Field of 6 horses, going the 2 miles and 1 eighth distance, or about 3,400 meters over the chase course. My top pick in this race, I like the number 3 horse here, Ordinary Worlds. I'm going to go 326 in the TriCast of the Trifecta. 326 TriCast Trifecta, top pick number three, Ordinary World, 10 to 1. Davey Russell's on this Henry Dave Bromhead train, seven year old gelding by Milan. Most recently, his horse had to start the 11th of November. That came at Naz, two miles in the grade three popular square chase. Horse finished second by five lengths behind Baldy Ark, who's also running back in this one today. You know, this horse just kept going. He, he didn't quicken up out of it. He didn't quicken up, but he didn't weaken out of it either. He just stayed. You know, it was an okay run. Um, you know, before that, April 27th at Punchestown, two miles in the grade one Ryanair. Now it's Chase. He finished second by 11 lengths behind the great field, who just jumped incredibly well. I don't think a lot of people expect that that day, but uh, certainly I didn't. But, you know, this horse, again, he was just second best. Um, and then before that, in the grade one racing post, Argyle Challenge Trophy Chase at Sheldon, two miles on March the 14th of last year. Horse finished third by 15 lengths. Altour was on another level that day this horse just wasn't his it just wasn't his day to win he didn't jump that well and you know it, it, it just wasn't his day that, I, that's all i can say about that race you know he ran in the racing post novice chase last year at leopardstown on boxing day he finished second by nine lengths behind min uh who's running back in this one today again min just jumped well this horse just couldn't catch him that day um you know he's been placed behind these incredibly ho incredibly good horses but I think he's gonna switch the uh, tables today I think he could get a good trip here today you know and I think he could run a big one I think a 10 to 1 I'm gonna try and take my chances with this one and try and beat men who's a very beatable favorite I think in this race so watch out so to recount my bets for the third the 115 from Leopardstown it's the grade one Paddy's rewards club chase gonna go with three horse ordinary world gonna go three two six in the tricast or the trifecta so now let's get on to race number four the 150 from Leopardstown. It is the Paddy Power Future of Champions Novice Hurdle. Grade 1 race here, going for a purse of $89,500. It's a novice hurdle race for four olds and upwards. Field of seven horses, going the 3200 meter trip or two miles over the hurdle course. Top pick in this race, I like the number six horse here, Sarjar. I'm going to go 624 in the TriCast or the Trifecta, basically my top three. 624, top pick number six, Sarjar. 5-1, to one, uh, P.W. Mullins is on this Willie Mullins train, 4-year-old gelding by Dr. Dino, a French bred horse. Um, uh, th this horse has started twice over the hurdles, most recently on the 25th of November, actually my birthday at Gowron. Heavy ground, 2 miles and a novice hurdle. Horse went by 4 lengths, 163 pounds he was carrying that day, didn't affect this horse. He jumped well and just had a very easy victory in the field of 5 horses. Great run, second over the uh, uh, second all over the jumps. Before that, September, September the 29th at Gowron, heavy ground again, 2 miles over the hurdles and the main hurdle horse won by 15 likes carrying 100 uh, 161 pounds Ruby Walsh had the, rode this horse at even money, and he jumped well. Very nice victory over his debut over the hurdles. Uh, and then you have to go to a start before. You have to go to about a year ago before that, the 22nd of September of 2016. That came a sonk clue over the flat, mile and a half, and just a handicap. This horse finished third by one quarter lengths. He stayed going that day, but he just he, he, he didn't weaken out of it, but he didn't quicken, out of it. He didn't quicken up either. He just stayed. Um, that That's a pattern. If you look at all those races in France, that's what he did going the mile and a half for the 2400 meters he just stayed but i think getting this distance over the jumps he should run very well five to one i'm going to try and take my chances and try to beat the favorites in this race so watch out so to recount my bets for the fourth the 150 from leopardstown it's the grade one patty power future champions novice hurdle gonna go with the six horse charger gonna go six two four in the tricast of the trifecta so good luck to all and please follow me on twitter at horse racing kit five good luck everybody